Because I really ain't surprised. This is my show. I'm going to be in the year for the second straight time. No surprise there at all. I mean, she's one of the best around in this, in this, in this industry. Look at this guy. Look at, look at this, look at this, 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 uh, this oh, overrated, oh, fat, who's oh, type from the army, from the bastard from the army of death. I can't stand this one. People say that she even incorporated this tall. I, wow, I, I say a lot. I seriously hope that that the hardcore champion beats the ever living crap out of this piece of crap right here. Like I really do. I will enjoy watching him get his ass. Yeah. It was cool like that the Dana Fred Harvardator to win the match for the Army of Death at Black Friday and oh um, that's pretty much the reason why you see him and his group here they have all they were all wounded contracts and according to Deathly Dangerous Apparently he now has the stroke here. I got a feeling the owner who she has what's up to say about that. Indeed. And yeah, I love how um, Deathly Dangerous acting like he's got a chip on his shoulder for winning contracts. of CCL, he is the hardcore champion, and this could be his big chance for revenge against Kunzite. Kunzite, the one man that was able to beat. Oh, for Red some, Harvard. I thought the lights went out. <laughs> Little technical difficulties there, as you see referee Jeff Marks holding up what Brett calls the hardcore title. I felt like the hardcore tournament was a cliche, in my opinion. I'm just being, don't mind, I'm being completely biased, but that's just my opinion. Well, well, it, it, it is what it is, what it is I suppose. But yeah, I know, like, I feel like... Go, Brent. Brent grabbing, the, grabbing his hardcore time. Oh, he's got a nail close already. Oh, oh, I saw that coming. Who's up? 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 While y'all talking about the tournament being, it being a sham, the match has gotten started and looks like Kunzite is jumping out to an early advantage on the champ. Yeah, that's a story, champ, I'm going to have to go on another day. Yeah, you're going to have to tell me that story later on. Yeah, Jeff, I'm going to be definitely telling y'all that story. Anyway, Kunzite already is going all over, going into town on the Harbinator. He's doing driving those punches right into his skull, trying to cave it in. Size difference between the two. Who's that? Looks like he's about what, 6'6, 6'7, 260. Red Harbinator is 5'9, 229 pounds. If I was Brent Harbinator, I would be sticking, I would be getting, getting any anything that's not nailed to the ground. See, Kunzai just followed my advice until he just, like an idiot, he just dropped the ladder. Right. And for those of y'all watching and wondering about the rules to this match, it's simple. There are no rules. It's hardcore. No, like no disqualification, no count out. 
falls count anywhere. Must be a winner as always. Yeah, and because this is a championship match, the knockdown rule is not in effect. And where it can only be determined by pinfall or submission. Yep, and don't be expecting no technical wrestling or a catch as catch can. No, not, not, not here. Are you going to have a pinfall? We're expecting that, I'm going to slap you. One, we're going to have a pinfall already, but no. And I think we might have to keep our distance, because remember what happened to our table earlier? We just got a new table. And I don't think we can ha I don't think we have the budget for another table. I think we... I think we do, but I don't think we will! Oh, oh, it was oh. again with, his, with the hardcore title. This time, now he finally got a shot on it. I hope they don't come over here for, and hit this table, because I got my food, my dinner oh. here. You know, I got my, my, my ribs and my mac and cheese and my collard greens. They can't mess with that. Yeah, but I'll keep it over there. I'm on my laptop right here too. Wait a minute. One. Only one. Only one count. You know, here I'm on my laptop waiting for the next episode of Persona 40 Animation to come out. Ah, overhead release belly to belly suplex. Ow. That's not. That's gonna. Yeah, and, running, and running into the stats hurts, man. I'm gonna tell you guys that from experience after being thrown up by those old. Oh. What the? Think about Ooh. The he might have been suplexed on that ladder there. His, legs, his legs hit the ladder. One, two. I say getting yep. hit by steps hurts, man. Getting your legs hit on the ladder, that hurts. I mean, it's one thing to run into steps, but running through, running, running through steps, yeah, that works. And once, ag and once and again, it's take your favorite CCL superstar home day. <laughs> You know, you, you, I wasn't. I, uh oh, ladder. Right now, oh, he's got the ladder. Oh, oh, evil intentions. Oh, the third time with that. He's not planning on replacing a light bulb with that ladder. I can tell you that much. This big. Right now, the the enforcer, the army of death, comes right in. Enforcer. Control. Oh, control. Oh, harmony. And you calling him an enforcer? That dude's an insurance policy. Oh, did you see that? I'm sure you did. Yep, an elbow right to the right bow, right to the right to the, I believe right to the throat. Two, no. Oh, no. dude. That dude's an insurance policy, man. Look at this guy. I mean, I've seen some many big men, like in CCL, SCA, um, NYCW, but this dude takes the cake. Hey, and he's not even close to being the biggest man on the roster, or for that matter, even the biggest man in the army of death. There's a couple of people on the album, come by Harmony against two! One. Oh, again, only a two count. Yeah, that's why, you know, this dude's an insurance policy, because he was able to guarantee the army of death that victory at Black Friday. I mean, you, you, saw, you saw that match. You saw how much what, what Kuzai did, which was not much. Man, <laughs> Yeah, he didn't. Do, he, was, he didn't do much at all. But you know, he still got the pinfall. He was just have to be in the right, right position at the right time, I suppose. Suplex, oh, suplex. I thought he was gonna suplex him right on the steps. Cover. One, two. Oh. I oh. highly doubt a um, uh, suplex is gonna get you the victory. Again oh. into the steps. And again the steps. I know your legs oh. have to be hurting by now. Oh, he's oh, got the steps now. Oh, this, this is not good. Oh. This, oh. Oh, he just clocked him right in the face. And then he throws the steps into the ring like... Look at that! Look at the strength of Kunz! He was able to throw the steps in like they were like they were a chew toy! It's like if you, it's like back in the day when you used to play with, with, um, with wrestling figures. With your toy ring. Oh! Oh my god! He suplexed him right on the steps. His back... Oh, 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 his back got broken right now. That, that could fall right there. He broke it. It's a, it's a foul suplex away, man. What? Oh, God. Oh, no.